Whenever you're on a social media, be it Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, or anything of the like, how often do you see posts praising about people who are wealthy, successful, ambitious, generous, bold? How often do you see these posts that talk about how much money they make a month, a year? Do you ever kind of like get curious and go into the comments section and start looking at the comments of all the people that are like laughing at the post or critiquing the post over nothing or saying, these people didn't work for it. I work hard to work 40 hours a week. These people don't work for their wealth. How often does it happen where there's somebody saying, oh, this isn't true. There's no way that they make that much money. There's no way that this works. There's no way that that actually happens. Okay, granted, sometimes there are posts that are just shit posts that don't have any validity in them. Fair enough. But what about the posts that are actually valid? For example, posts that talk about the latest ticker symbols. Posts that talk about real estate investments. Posts that talk about money in general. Success in general. Posts that praise wealth and success. How often is it that we see people in there criticizing and critiquing things that they're not good at themselves? Why is it that this other person that posted it, why can they do it, but why can't I? Why can they be successful? Why can't I? You know, it's this little societal pressure that kind of weighs on us. It pulls us down. It makes us feel stuck where we are. Let's make it more personal. What about you? Has there been something, a time in school, a time in your workplace? Has there ever been a time where you were successful? You got the highest grades in the class. You got a promotion at work. And instead of being praised by your so-called friends, they instead criticize you and laugh at you because, oh, you're a nerd. Nerd, you got the highest grade, a perfect score, Freaking nerd. God, what, you're so fucking smart. It's happened to me quite a lot too. For example, there was a post that I was tagged in where somebody from high school that I was classmates with, and I don't remember him, but he remembered me. And at the time of this post, it was like 2021. It had already been eight years since I even graduated. So this dude posted about me having an Asian girlfriend, which at the time I did, but it was a girl that I met on Meet Me and she was Asian, but at the time, you know, she was actually physically in person. So this was a totally different girl, but he still posted saying, I remember this dude who was so weird and nerdy and he swore up and down that he had an Asian girlfriend, which I did, and then, Oh, I looked on his profile and now they're married? What the fuck? You know? So it was really interesting to me to see that post because people like this are people that are stuck in the past. They stay stuck. Same thing with the people in the comment sections on Twitter or Facebook or Reddit or Instagram or Snapchat or anything. The same people that stay stuck on posts about success and wealth are the same people that stay stuck hoping that their votes for whatever they're voting for happen from other people. They don't wanna take action. Taking action is a taboo word. They never want to leave their comfort zone. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, We don't wanna risk it all and we don't wanna lose where we live and we don't wanna lose what we have. That's a natural fear. But see, the thing is, is that there's an interesting concept in this world in that the world is run by losers. Well, well, think about that. Think about it for just a second. How often is it that the person that founds a company or the person that's CEO or is, you know, CFO or any of the highest positions of power in a company, how often is it that the founders and people that run this world, the people that actually make the businesses, how often is it that they are of high school education or their college dropouts? They're not successful. They failed. They didn't go to college or they didn't complete college. They were losers, but they still made and built a highly successful business. And then they employed the people that were successful. They employed the winners. 
The losers employed the winners. Isn't that crazy? When was the last time that you wanted to do something? You knew it would work. You knew it would be successful. But the thought and fear of other people that you don't even like, judging you, criticizing you, laughing at you, the thought of them doing anything negative to your actions held you back. It stopped you. Just the thought of the fear of what others would think. Now keep in mind, these people genuinely don't care. If these people are criticizing you and it's out of bad faith, it's not to help you see things that you're doing wrong. It, they're just genuinely telling you, hey, you, you suck and you smell. Okay, not good people. You do not need to care about the opinions of people that don't care about you or what you're doing, or what you plan, or what you're building, okay? So if you feel like really doing something, okay, do it. They're still gonna laugh at you anyways. They're still gonna judge you anyways. The only difference is that if you actually succeed, think about how cool that's gonna be when you succeed and you can turn around and flaunt your stuff and show them how hard you've succeeded. They don't, they're not gonna care about the work that you put in. They're not gonna care about this or that. They're just gonna care that you proved them wrong. And then they're still gonna laugh and criticize you because you did it, but they're stuck. It can be hard to move past old friends, old family members. It can be hard to cut yourself off from 85, 90% of people that you used to, you know, talk with. It will be hard. But if you really do have a mission in mind, a goal, a purpose in mind for your life, and you're not working towards it because you're scared of being judged or you're scared of losing it all or you're fearful, you're acting in fear or scarcity or lack or you just feel like the time isn't right, you're not gonna succeed until you actually go out there and start doing things. They're gonna laugh at you anyways. They're gonna laugh at you whether you start or you don't. They're gonna laugh at you whether you succeed or you don't. So what have you got to lose at that point? If you're, if you're fearful of societal pressure to win, why aren't you being fearful of societal pressure to lose? It's the same concept. The only thing is, is that if you win, people are still gonna laugh. There's no way he actually succeeded like that. If you lose, people are still gonna laugh. Oh, he's an idiot. There was no way that was gonna work, ha ha. Besides, think about it this way. When you're working towards a goal or a purpose in life, when you're working towards something that's truly passionate to you, truly about you, and you make new friends that are supportive of you in this particular way, new friends that help you, criticize you, hold you accountable, make you the best version of yourself each and every day. Those kind of friends are the ones that you actually wanna ride or die with. Those are the kind of friends that you want to have around. Those friends that actually help you build up while you build up is a positivity feedback loop, like I always like to talk about. You know, where positivity brings in positivity, which boosts out positivity, and then more positivity becomes more positivity. And it just keeps it in an endless cycle of just good things happening because other good people are helping make good things happen. You wanna know how you can help me make good things happen to make other people have good things happen? Subscribe to my channel, give this video a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel. Comment below what you think about societal pressure to perform. And I need you to do me a favor also, share this video out with anybody that you feel like could use this message. I'm serious because in order for other people to know that it's okay to fail and it's okay to still be criticized and be comfortable with it, this message has to get out there. So please, please, please share this message with other people that you think will find it interesting. And I look forward to seeing all the accomplishments that you're gonna make in your lifetime. Take care of yourself and have a great day.